Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. And yes, my bangs really, really need a trim. Today's video is gonna be the next one in my declutter series. So if you've been watching, I am going through my entire makeup, skincare, hair care, and even clothing collection and decluttering all of it. I want so much of this to be gone because there's no reason I need to have this much stuff in my drawers when I'm not using it all. So I have been putting everything into this basket. It is so, so, so heavy and it's like three quarters of the way full at this point. I have already decluttered my face products like my foundation, concealer, blush, highlighter. I've decluttered my eyeshadow palettes. I did very well there if I do say so myself. And I've decluttered my entire lip collection. So all those videos are gonna be linked in the description box down below if you wanna go watch those first. But today I am going to be going through pretty much the rest of my makeup. So I'm going through my single eyeshadows. That's gonna be the biggest part of it. My glitters. It's very difficult for me to let go of any glitters. I can't make any promises that I'm getting rid of any. My eye pencils, my mascara, my brow products, things like that. I just want to get rid of as much as possible so I can make room for new stuff. If there's anything brand new, you might eventually find it on like my Mercari page or I might put it aside for a giveaway. I'm not sure, but everything else is probably just gonna go to family or friends, people that I know I can sanitize it and give it to them. But you know what? Let's just dig right into this. All right, I've shown this before in each video, but this is my makeup setup. These drawers are kind of filled to the brim. Actually, now I have room considering that I have decluttered quite a bit. But today, a big focus is going to be on this drawer right here. This has single eyeshadows. This has a couple of palettes. This just has a mishmash of stuff. I'm going to be decluttering all of that. But also in this drawer, we've got these two. So this is eye pencils, mascara, brow products. These are filled to the brim. I don't use these much. We've got brow pomades. We're gonna go through all of it. Okay, we're gonna start with my single eyeshadows and pigments here. So these are all powdered versions of shadows. None of these are cream. Let's start. We'll go ahead and start with these two shadows from Ace Beauté. So basically these are dupes of the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. This one I am almost definitely saving. Let's see. You know what, I think I can get rid of this one. It is very pretty, but I have other shadows I think I like better. This one is a shame though, because the color is beautiful. The quality is perfect. Look at that shimmery pink with gold, but I never use it ever because I just don't really wear pink shadows. So both of these can go. Let's move on to the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. Uh, I can tell you right now, all four of these, which are from the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie collection, these are all staying. They are all so, so beautiful. So we have Like a Moss, Campfire, Mycelium, and Olympic. So I have three more of the Super Shocks. This one in DGAF, I think this is just, it's dried out. It's, it's time for this to go. This color is Cheap Date, and you can see how incredibly, incredibly metallic it is. It's really beautiful. Mm, do I need this one, though? You know what? I think I can let this go. I think I have other shadows that do the same thing. This one can go. This shade is Telepathy, and I bet you guys can get that this one is staying. It is an olive shimmery lime green. This is staying. Next, let's get rid of a bunch of stuff. Okay, so all of these are MAC pigments. Considering that I have not purchased MAC in many years, these are just older, and to be honest, I don't use them. Pigments were such a big deal back in the day, and they're really great quality, but I do not use them, so all of this is going to go. Speaking of pigments, I do have three sugar pill pigments. And to be honest, these are quite old. This is some very old sugar pill packaging, but this color is Royal Sugar, and it is just a beautiful deep blue with sparkle. It is barely touched. What a sin. You know what, this kind of breaks my heart, but I'm gonna let this go. This is one of the first sugar pill products I ever owned, but if it's that full and I've had it that long, this can go to a new home. Despite what I just said about the other one, this one is going nowhere. This is the sugar pill pigment in Goldilocks. This is one of my absolute favorites of all time. 
This is the most perfect gold you can see. I've used a lot of this. It is the most perfect gold pigment that has ever existed. This is a keep. Here is another sugar pill pigment in Penelope. This looks very chunky and that's because it is, but I still absolutely love it. It is like the color of a freaking penny. It's beautiful. This is a keep. I'm going to let these two go. These were from Makeup a Murder. Uh, one of these is kind of a shimmery yellow and the other one is obviously a neon green. I just didn't love the quality of these. I really didn't. I feel like they were powdery and they kind of went everywhere. I don't even know why I've kept them so long, so these can go. This is still very new and not going anywhere. This is my Auric Smoke Reflect in Defiance. So on the top we have a stunning shimmery gold and on the bottom we have a cream shadow that is more bronzy and together they just create absolute magic. This is staying. This is another one that's going to go and this is kind of bittersweet as well. So these are individual pigments that are all various shades of white. This might look familiar, right? That's because this company eventually came out with a pressed palette with all of these and I use this palette way more than the loose pigments. So the loose pigments, which I've had for so long, I think I got this at my very first eye mats in 2011, this can go. Even though this is quite old, this is not going anywhere. This is my Sugar Pill Bulletproof Eyeshadow. You can tell there's a significant dent. This is just a matte black shadow, the best matte black shadow I own. This is a keep. For another Sugar Pill shadow, we have Pumpkin Spice. This color really, really is beautiful as well. It's very, very metallic. I need to use this more. This is a keep. Again, this is quite old, you can see, because it still says Kat Von D on it. This is one of her Metal Crush shadows, and the shade, I believe, is Iggy, and it is just a metallic green that I don't, again, use nearly enough, but I can't get rid of it. I love this shade so, so much. This is a keep. Finally, this is a little sentimental, but these are three pigments that are kind of rocker shades. It actually was called a rocker kit from Bare Minerals. And the reason this is bittersweet, I am getting rid of these, is because one of my very first videos here on YouTube was using these. I wore the heck out of these. I got some great use out of them, but it's time for them to go. All right, we're just gonna rip the Band-Aid off and do glitters and liquid eyeshadows. This is, this is, this is gonna be so hard. These are the three Ofra Bossy Eyes. I only just got these. I used this color Fortune in a recent video. I loved it. This dark dingy green is new money. And then this color CFO, I think I might pass this on. It's really beautiful. It's kind of like a taupe silver. It's just not a color I wear very often, but it is really pretty, so I'm gonna pass this on. So I have five of the Stila Liquid Shadows and they are either in the Shimmer and Glow or Glitter and Glow formula. Oh, this is gonna be tough. So I lied, I actually have six because I forgot that I have a backup for this one. So this is Gold Goddess, my absolute favorite, but it's, it's done, it's dried out, it's done. So I am just gonna keep the backup. I have to say this shade Bronzed Bell, I wanted to love it more, but it has significant silver glitter in such a warm base, so it didn't really sit well with me, so this one can go. This one is Smoldering Satin, and this is kind of a brown. Again, I don't understand why so many of these have silver glitter in them, but I do still really like this. This is a keep. Some of these have never even been opened or used. I feel like that's a bad sign. This one is either pronounced La Douche or La Douce, but this is, again, a beautiful, beautiful gold. There's almost a hint of green in there. This one's a keep. I'm going to leave it out of the box so I know to use it. So this color in Grace, I don't think I've ever used this, and it has a weird separation, but I think it's fine. I think it just needs to be kind of shaken up. I'm going to let this go. As much as I loved these at one time, I am going to let these two metallic shadows from Wet n Wild go. They're so pretty, but I just didn't use them. Um, God, look at the green shift in this, though. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't been using them. They're going to go. This is 100% staying. This is my Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow in Scarab. Look at that shift from blue to green to purple. It looks unreal, and that's because it is. Isn't that insane how this catches the light in so many different ways? Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Oh, I love it. I'm saving it. Two more liquid shadows. One is a Pixie, and the other one is by Flower Beauty. Both of these are going to go. 
I really used to love this pixie, but I think it kind of dried out. You can see a lot of glitter has just kind of settled near the bottom. And this flower one, it looks so pretty in the tube. On the eye, it was just so sheer. I didn't love it. This is going to glow. It's going to glow to somebody else. Here's one that can go. This is very interesting though. This is a pressed glitter, so it doesn't fall out. And it sticks really well and it's really pretty, but I just don't use it. If I'm going to use glitter, this is the one area where I prefer a pressed glitter or one that has like a sticky base to it, so this can go. Speaking of glitter with sticky bases, this is the kind of thing I'm referring to. This one's by Lemonhead LA, and you can tell it's just all different glitters and it already has a base to it, so it'll just go wherever you want it to. I love this. You can see how much I've used it. This is a keep. This is another keep. This one is by Electra Cosmetics. Same concept in that it has that sticky base, but look at it. The hex glitters are huge. They're supposed to be huge, and I love that. I like using this as a blindingly obnoxious highlighter. Keep. This one I haven't even used yet. This is one of the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed. Same concept, though, where you have that kind of sticky base and it goes anywhere. This one is just very white and shimmery. This is a keep. You know what, it might be easier to go through and pick out ones that I'm going to give away because for the most part, I'm keeping almost all of these. Here are two I can give away. This one is by Violet Voss and this one is Eye Candy. They're both almost the same color in there, that peachy color with a gold shimmer that almost shifts green. Really pretty, but I just don't wear peachy pink tones, so these can both go. This one can also go. This is by MBA Cosmetics and the shade is Fire Lust and it's really a pretty bright orange, but the granules were just too big for me, so this one can go. Okay, look, this one's also from MBA Cosmetics, and it's still sealed. The color is Barista, and I think this was a dark brown. I can't really see it too much, but it's sealed, and I haven't bought from them in years. This can go. So I have two red glitters here, and they're both very finely milled, and they're both for the same purpose of putting them on your lips. This one is very, very, very old. I actually bought it at a burlesque show, so that one can go and I'm going to keep the eye candy. This one is also going to go, this is a, again from eye candy I believe, and it's called Black Bart. It's not glitter. I thought this was black glitter. It's just kind of black shadow, so this can go. And you know what? The rest of these are staying. So I have various shades here, obviously lots of bronzes, but lots of bright colors too. I love my glitters. This is staying. This one can go though, as beautiful as it is. Again, this is just very, very old. Wet and Wild, I don't even know if they make glitter anymore, so this is going to go. This one is very cool. So this is called Liquid Skin Sparkle by Graftobian, and it is a liquid, so it does have kind of a nail polish applicator, if you will. It has like a little brush, but look at the sparkle in that. Oh god, I need more of these. This is staying. This is also going to stay. So this is interesting. This is just straight little pieces of glitter. These don't have any sticky base to them. You just apply them yourself. Actually, wait, do they have a sticky base? Nope, they're just straight stars of glitter. So you do need some sort of sticky base or a glue to apply these, but I love them. I just never use them. Mm, I don't care. I'm keeping them. This is just something that kind of snuck in there. This is going to break my heart, but this can go. This is a very full container of MAC Vanilla Pigment. I used this so, so, so often. This was probably my third tub of this. I used to use it every day. This can go. <laughs> As for this, I'm going to keep all of these. These are various different kinds of glitter adhesives. They look kind of gross. I definitely need to repurchase these, but for now, I'm going to keep what I have. The only other things in that drawer were these three items, and I'm going to be keeping all of these. So again, very old, but this is my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit. I do still use this quite a bit. I really do. So I love this shade over here, but I also use this shade and even this shade. So I'm going to keep this. And then my Anastasia Contour Kit, you can tell it's very well loved, but I use this very often. This is staying. This is again from Electra Cosmetics, but they came out with an eco glitter. So this is supposed to be a little more safe for the environment. Look at that. Look how pretty it is. Oh, and this is their eco primer that goes with it. I want to remember to use these. So I took them out of the bag. These are staying. Look how much room I have. It is so nice to be able to actually see everything I have now because for so long I couldn't see all the stuff. 
it was just in there so oh this makes me so happy and this makes me want to use all of this so much more oh i'm excited that was the whole point of a declutter this is a lot of stuff and to be honest this is a horrible mess this oh god i can't wait to clear this one out right off the bat let's talk about how i have five eyelash curlers why why okay so i know this one can go this one's very old it is shuamora this can go this one is by pure and as pretty as it is i never liked it this can go i have to be honest though i'm a weirdo and i use all three of these this is tweezerman melt and tart i use all of these so i'll keep these i will also be keeping all of these these are just replacements for all of those eyelash curlers i don't know why i have two sharpeners this one's really gross and old so this can go this one will stay I guess these would count sort of as liquid shadows. So I have two of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners, the, excuse me, the Glitter Liners. Those are both staying, love those. So these shades are ACDC and Midnight Cowboy. This is from the Elf and J Kissa collection. Surprisingly, I do like this, not as specifically a glitter eyeshadow, but just as a nice kind of pop of color. So this will stay. These are the three Beetlejuice liners, the gel liners from Melt. You can pry these out of my cold, dead hands. Same thing with the Burnish Gel Liner, which is exactly this color of very warm brown. I love these. I really want more of this formula. These are all a key. This can go. This is the Pretty Vulgar Liquid Liner. It's not really a liquid. It was kind of like a cream liner. I hated this packaging because it's black on black, so you couldn't even see when you were getting product. This can go. These two are hard for me to let go. These are MAC Paint Pots in Groundwork and black ground but the thing is i haven't bought mac since 2018 and these are cream products so these can go these are two of the kat von d brow pomades and well i don't even need to open them they're these colors they're red and yellow and i did really really like these but i don't use them much but i like having them in my collection i think the packaging is still really beautiful these are a keep and then this is my anastasia dip brow you can see it's still pretty new this is 100 percent a keep this is if I'm going to use a brow pomade, it's going to be this. This is an Urban Decay liquid liner in El Dorado, and it is this exact color. It's this beautiful metallic gold. This is a keep. All right, I made it so that this only has mascara in it, and mascara does go bad after a while. And I know a few of these are very old, so they can go. This one, better than sex. I still love it, but it's very old. That's going to go. I know that this tube of Kush Mascara, which is my favorite mascara of all time, very old, this is gonna go. I didn't even know this was in here. I don't use that brand, this is gonna go. The rest of these though are either fairly new or haven't been opened, so these are all a keep. This one is the Laura Geller Brow Boss, the Milk Makeup Kush in Waterproof, the Merit Beauty Tubing Mascara, melt supernatural and a little baby kush mascara and then i have this unopened tart light camera lashes which is a really beautiful lengthening mascara so these are all staying these are all brow products and i can tell you every one of these is staying so i only have one brow pencil and that is the nyx pencil the micro brow i enjoy this i don't love it so comment down below and tell me what is your favorite brow pencil because I feel like I need to try something new. I don't know if I've ever tried the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but maybe it's time. We have the Patrick Ta Major Brow Shaping Wax. I love, love, love this. We have the Merit Brow 1980, which I'm still loving. We have this Clear Brow Gel by Billion Dollar Brows that I just got in a boxy charm. I'm going to test it out for the next month. I have a feeling this will be decluttered after that, but I still want to give it a shot. Just everything in here is amazing, and also I don't talk about this enough. This is the NYX Brow Glue. Amazing. If your brows are unruly, run, don't walk, and get this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, let me separate out just the black pencil liner. No one needs this many black pencil liners. So this is very old, but I have to admit, this is still my favorite for lining in the waterline. This is MAC Feline Coal Power. This for now is staying. This is a sealed makeup forever. Never used it. That can go. This collab pencil was nice, but I didn't love it as much as others. This can go. I actually wound up loving this. This is just a plain black pencil from Kveen, and it is really nice. So this is a keep. I'm also going to keep the Urban Decay Liner in zero. And these three, these can go. This is such a sentimental piece, but this is the MAC Shade Stick in See Me. 
I haven't used this in easily 10 plus years, but it was a sentimental purchase because this is probably my first MAC product I ever bought, but it's time for you to go, buddy, it's time. I also have five black liquid liners. The only one I'm gonna get rid of is the Beauty Bakery. A couple people had recommended this to me, but unfortunately on my eyes, it kind of just bleeds and does not look great, so that's gonna go, but these other four, I still really enjoy them. We have the Ofra, the Queen, the NYX, and the Joa liner. Just found another black liquid liner. This is the ColourPop. This is definitely going. This again is just too wet of a formula. I have three of the Milk Makeup stamps, so we have a star, an X, and a moon. These are all staying, love these. Then we just have kind of a mishmash. I'm gonna go ahead and put in here what I'm keeping and the rest of it is gonna go. All right, so here is what I wound up keeping, not bad. I've gone through all those palettes in a previous declutter and I also keep a bar of soap here for when I want to do soap brows, but let's put everything else away. And there we have it, a nice organized drawer. There's still a ton of stuff, I know, but there's also a lot of room now. And again, I can see everything, so big difference. So I'm just gonna go through this drawer. These are backups of things that I really enjoy or things that I just haven't tried yet, but I know I can get rid of some of this stuff. So, I mean, I'll start with this. This was just a free gift. I was saving it for somebody, but to be honest, I'm just gonna get rid of this. A girl needs her fans to dry her face. These were all random freebies I got. These can all go. Again, I have a spray here from Kula and this eyelash applicator. These never work for me. This can go. I have some random tools here and just some lipsticks and another of, another of the Yenza. I have all my ColourPop lipsticks here. This stuff, there's not much in this drawer. Oh no, this can actually go. This color of the Juvia's Place shade stick was just entirely wrong for a contour for me, so that can go. Down here, everything is staying. These are just backups of things that I love. I even have a backup of the Anastasia contour kit. I just, I think this drawer is still fairly neat and clean, so these can all stay. So in the end, this is all I'm getting rid of. This is a lot still, I think, considering I'm pretty happy with, I, I decluttered a whole lot, so all of this is going. I'm actually sweating after that. Like, I am sweating after that. The whole time I'm doing these, I'm standing up and it doesn't sound like a big deal, but I've been filming for like an hour now. I'm beat. I didn't even wear my Apple Watch to count that as a workout. I don't think standing still is a workout, pretty sure. But here's where we are now with this bin. It's, oh God, it's pretty full. It's so damn heavy. Oh my God, like, <laughs> this is crazy. But I'm so proud of myself. Look how much I'm getting rid of. This is just, oh, this is just stuff. It's just stuff I haven't been using. And yes, I'm a makeup collector and it's the only thing I collect and I love that. But at the same time, I don't need all of this. And I'm even looking around just right now and I see more things that I can get rid of. So this is just the beginning. I am so excited that I got rid of this much. Next up is gonna be skincare. That's going to be hard because there's a lot of stuff where I know it is past its expiration date, but I still use it and I still love it. So I don't know. Skincare is one thing I feel like you really should stick to the expiration date. That one's gonna be rough. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you can be notified when I post a new video because that one is gonna be coming shortly. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm really not looking forward to it. That's it, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please comment down below, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want skincare or hair care next. I'm thinking skincare, but if there's an overwhelming response for hair care, we can do that. 
You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all Glitter Follow. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars, and I love you so much with my whole heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.